In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an image map in WordPress, which allows you to put overlays onto images just like this one with clickable regions that do various things. They can take you to other pages on your site, other pages on a different site, or present information right here beside the image map. I'm going to show you how it all works in this video, and it's totally free, and it works with Elementor as well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't to future videos. Now let's get started. To add an image map to our website, the first thing we have to do is install a plugin. Let's go to plugins and add new and look up draw attention. This is the plugin we want right here. It has lots of great reviews, lots of installs, recently updated, compatible with the current version, everything checks out. If you're installing this on a live site, you want to back up your site first, just in case something goes wrong. It's pretty rare, but if it does, at least you have a backup you can revert back to. There's a link to a tutorial in the description down below that will help you back up your site. When you're ready, click on install now, then click on activate. And now we're going to head over to draw attention, which is a new menu item. Click on edit image. With the free version, you only get one image. And so there's no images list here or anything. You just get to edit your one image. And this one will be a blueprint, a blueprint, not a blue bring. We are not going to change the highlighting. We're not going to change the more info box colors right now. We are going to add an image though. I'm going to click on upload image and then find the image on my hard drive. This is the one I want right here. Click on open to upload it. Now we have the image up here and we also have the image right down here. And I'll make a clickable area for all the rooms or at least rooms one through four and the round coffee cup and the geometry compass just to show you different styles of clickable areas you can create. So first let's do room number one. You just click on all the corners and the red area is what's going to be clickable on the actual image when it is saved. Clickable area is now defined. Down below here, we can give it a name. Let's call this living slash kitchen, living room slash kitchen. We have the option to show more info, which we can fill in down here. We can also add images. So let's upload or add an image. Let's see if we can find a couch. There we go. That's a good living room image right there. Click on download to add that to our media library, there's our image. Click on add another area. And this we're gonna have be room number two. When you're making these, if you think you clicked in the wrong spot, you can just click and hold on any one of these little squares and adjust the boundaries. And you can also click and hold the white square in the middle and move the whole thing. Now scroll down, let's make this uh, baby's room. I'm going to make this one a URL. We're just going to have it go to the home page. Keep things simple. This can go to anywhere on your site or off site. Let's add another area. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Let's make this number three. This will be middle child's room. We're going to show more info. I'm going to give it the same name for the description. I'm going to add another image. Let's look up kids room. These guys look pretty good. Let's add those to there and click on add another area. Number four. Eldest child's room, more info, put that in there for the image. Look up child's room this time, maybe get different results. This one's pretty good. Let's add another area. Let's make it the coffee cup. You can have as many points as you want for creating these hotspot areas. So we can click around the circle of the coffee cup lid I'm not doing a very good job. I'm sure you can do a lot better than I am. But you get the idea. Click all the way around. We've got pretty much a circle there. Coffee cup lid. Let's show more info and let's make this an image as well. Let's look up coffee. That's pretty good. And then one more. We're going to do this compass right here. 
so you can see how crazy the hotspot areas can be. You do have to click a certain distance from other hotspot areas. You can't be too close. And you can be quite accurate. See, it's tough getting a little arm because it's the spots are a little too close. There we go. I think we nailed it. Let's call it the compass. Let's add an image. Maybe they have a compass on here. It's probably going to show the wrong kind of compass. Geometry compass. Oh, there it is. Or close enough anyway. Let's just use this one. And then we're done. No more areas to add. You can't add more. That's all we want to add. Then we grab the short code right here. Copy, and we make sure we save or update the page, otherwise all that work will not be seen through that short code. Now we can add the short code anywhere where short codes are accepted. For some reason, the title's gone. Let's put Blueprint back in there, click on Update. But like I was saying, anywhere where you can add short codes, you can add this image map now. That means Gutenberg, that means Elementor, that means any page builder that has short code functionality. So I'm gonna add a new page, I'm going to call it Blueprint. I'm going to save draft, and then we're going to edit with Elementor. And we look up our short code, and the short code widget is in the free version of Elementor. Paste that in, and we see our image just like we expect. But we see this other stuff, all the content listed down below. We don't want that there. What you do is click on Publish, and then Refresh, and then all the content will be collapsed into just the image map image. There we go. All that content's gone. The image map does not work inside of Elementor. We have to preview the page. Let's go ahead and view the live page. And we see Blueprint with this extra area here and our image map. We hover over all these areas. Let's zoom in a bit. All these areas hover. Nice little hover color effect. If you click on them, let's click on number one. We see the name change, we see the picture, and we see the description. Room two is a link that'll take us to the home page. Let's click on that. There we are at the home page. Like I said, that link can go anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be the home page. Room three, the title changes again over here. New picture, new description. Room four, new title, new picture, new description. Coffee lid, same thing. Compass, same thing. And so you can have this image map be anything you want. We could image map this calculator, this house, the apple, whatever you want. And rather than just being a pinpoint hotspot like you often see these days, it's an actual clickable area, which makes it much easier to describe specific areas. And a blueprint like this is a great example because the hotspot might be right here, but you're talking about the entire room, which might not be immediately clear. Whereas when you have the the image map and you hover over it, you see the entire area that's being highlighted, the entire area that we're talking about. Let's see how this works on mobile. The image map is much smaller. If we click on any one of these, well, I clicked on the one that takes you to the homepage. If you click on any one except for the one that goes to the homepage, we'll have the content update down below which is fantastic for mobile. This is a free plugin. This image map can be added anywhere that allows short codes. That includes Gutenberg and any page builder has a short code widget, including the free version of Elementor. Next up, check out this playlist right here where I help you speed up your WordPress site beyond what you might think is possible. This is a great playlist to watch if you want a faster website. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.